In many operational decisions, relevant costs are all variable because fixed costs do not vary across alternatives, and therefore they are irrelevant. Because people face so many decisions where fixed costs are irrelevant, they tend to think that the only relevant costs are variable costs. They are not. Fixed costs can also be relevant. For example, buying special equipment to execute a specific order includes a relevant fixed cost, the acquisition cost of the equipment. This is an operating decision in which a fixed cost is a relevant cost. Opening a sales office is another case where most of the relevant costs are fixed. A similar trap happens with direct and indirect costs. In many operating decisions, only direct costs are relevant. But again, there are decisions where indirect costs may also be. For example, all the direct costs to open a new sales office are relevant. But there may also have been relevant indirect costs. For instance, the Human Resource Department may need to hire a new person because of the increased workload. Even if this department is an indirect cost, it becomes pertinent to the decision. Thus remember that while fixed costs and indirect costs are irrelevant in certain operational decisions, it does not mean that they are always irrelevant. Be careful to assess whether fixed costs and indirect costs are relevant when facing a decision as ignoring them can be a dangerous mistake.